Hey everyone. First of all, I hope everyone's doing well. Flint True Channel here. I want to talk about Richie from Boston, the crisis actor, who not only I have exposed, you know, time and time again, other YouTubers have, um, other people on Rumble and BitChute have as well. It's really hard to find stuff on here about Richie from Boston or, you know, RV Truth or any of these people because, you know, they're obviously gatekeepers and they're in with the people who run this world and that's why they've allowed to, been allowed to get the platforms that they had and I want to talk to you guys about you know not only have I spent hours uh, in live streams exposing this guy with all his Masonic gestures all of you know everything right the numerology just all kinds of stuff right and this is a guy that used to be on Russian vids a lot Russian vids used to say oh this guy's the best Christian I've ever seen he's you know just totally full of crap you know but one of the things Russian vids always said RV truth you know, Ben Lashenko, whoever it really is, um, I mean, whichever, whoever, you know, um, he said that, you know, a person's, a, um, an actor, part of the, um, part of the world stage, when you start seeing them on the world stage, when you start, when you see them on the TV, he said, you always know someone's a, um, a, a, you know, a shill when you see them on the TV, you know, and it's not like Richie, like, commented on this thing. Hey, idiot, I just posted from in front of my house where this car jack, uh, jacking happened. What a jerk off. First of all, it's not a Christian at all. That's totally a reprobate, pride-filled. I mean, this guy is just an arrogant, egotistical, devil-worshipping, Freemasonic Satanist. And if anybody, that's why he gets to go on all these channels. That's why he was on uh, Inside Edition not too long back, which I've showed another video on. Again, it's not like it's just one uh, situation where, hey, it's, you know, he happened to, like, he tried to say here, hey, I just happened to see a carjacking, man, and I was, you know, the news happened to interview me. No, you're a crisis actor, you're a part of the, um, initiated fraternities, and don't try to say, oh, that you're a, uh, a, a felon, so you can't become a Freemason. That's a lie. You are a liar. Um, this guy's a liar, okay? There's videos of him out there shooting guns and all this stuff, so if he was a felon, he's obviously had his rights restored because he was never arrested over it. Anyways, this guy's a mason, he's a devil, he's part of the cabals, he's part of the... And like I said, not only have I shown all that and proven that with proof, you know, it's not just words, me talking, I've proven that. And you guys can see for yourself, here he is on TV, here he is going up, showing up on the news, on Inside Edition, you know. He's a crisis actor, okay? He would have never been allowed to get several channels over 100,000 subscribers, people. Listen, unless you're one of their gatekeepers... Okay, and you're gifted and bought all those subs, you don't get that type of viewing. You don't get those type of followings unless you are connected, unless you are allowed to get those connecting. These Brian Denlingers with 50,000 subscribers, you don't get that when you're a real preacher. You don't get that when you're a real man of God. Okay? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Okay? When you expose these devils, instead of getting the spotlight, you know, which common sense is how people think oh wow you know this is some truth people are gonna love it people are gonna eat it up no okay because one youtube algorithms are so good that your stuff isn't doesn't even get seen um but two people just they're so close-minded they're so shallow it's hard for them to see the forest for the trees you know this guy this jailbreak overlander this richie from boston uh this devil worshiper this crisis actor he wants you guys to believe that he was just this, this is just some random event. But yeah, he was on Inside Edition. They don't just put anybody on Inside Edition. These are vetted people, okay? Again, Richie from Boston. This is the video he was commenting on, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, crisis actor Richie from Boston caught on the news. Go watch the video, guys, if you guys don't know. This guy's a devil, okay? And again, if you guys want real proof on Rumble, uh, excuse me, a bit shoot, I think it is, type in Flint Truth. And go look up um, the Richie from Boston videos. I have several hour live streams. They may still uh, be on here, but I'm not sure if they are. Several hour videos, uh, several videos, excuse me, uh, exposing Richie from Boston with his Masonic um, hand gestures. You know, so many things that he does. And I prove it and show it and show the proof where I, it leaves no doubt. Uh, you know, and this is the type of stuff this guy's pushing right here. Um, I'm sorry if, it, if the screen's messing up with you guys right there, but... It says Bigfoot caught on film. And if you guys can read the top up there, it says 129th, uh, 129K subscribers. 
You don't get 129,000 subscribers by being a true Christian, by being a true uh, truther and putting the truth out there, okay? That's not how it works. This guy is a part of the shield community, and that's why he is pushed up on a pedestal. And it's, you know, just like RV Truth and a lot of these other so-called truthers tell, let, you know, let you know, they do tell you some truth, you know, just like rat poison, they got to mix in some, you know, uh, some real stuff. So they do mix in some truth, and they let you know, hey, when you see these people on the world stage, you see them on the news, automatically you know that they're a crisis actor, because people that are on TV, uh, you don't just get on TV, okay? They, they make sure that the people that are on TV are, you know, these. I know a lot of people, you know, don't believe that, and they see these wild videos like that hitchhiker guy with the hatch, hatchet, and you know, um, the, the people who, the guy who was talking about someone broke in his sister's room, and you know, the, it, they went viral. You know, those are fake, fake videos, okay? Fake videos. E mostly everything you see on the news and on TV is fake. Okay, it's television, tell lie vision. They tell lies to you through your vision. It was created by the CIA. At, for mind control, okay? That's what the TV is for. It's for mind control. So, you don't get 129,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, on uh, TV, you know, the things that they control, their, their platforms that they're in control of, Rumble, BitChute, whatever, they're in control of all of them. I know people don't believe that. People will think that there's some independent websites out there where you can there's not guys okay the people who run own and control this world they've got the internet on lockdown and they have for a long long time okay maybe back in the beginning yeah sure you could you know find websites and you could find truth out there and you know there was a lot more out there it's those aren't those days anymore it's not 2008 anymore it's just not and the truth just isn't out there it used to be you know if you were in intuitive you had a mind that you wanted to you know to go look for things you could go find things on the internet you know you could go open up books you could go to the library now you can't go to the library those books have been taken out now you can't go online because those websites have been blocked those domains are no longer active you know and i could go on and on but this guy is a actor and you don't get to be uh, this right here says and this isn't just by some any channel. This is uh, Money Garage. They go around and tell how many views and how much money that YouTubers make, right? And this guy says that Richie from Boston, and this can be verified. You can go and, you know, how many views approximately does Richie from Boston get a day? A day. A day he gets 100,000 views a day, okay? And this was on Richie from Boston. This is not even... Um, jailbreak overlander which i'm sure he gets way way more than that on his videos but this guy's been gifted a platform okay you don't get a hundred thousand views you don't get two hundred thousand subs unless you are one of them okay and you see the need that he felt to come on my channel and say and, and, and call me names you know totally unchristian totally ungodly you know absolutely a, a fool He's a fool, and he's and anybody that watches his channel is a fool, and the stuff that he's gonna uh, push is this crap right here. Big, Bigfoot caught on on film, or maybe you'll catch him walking through the woods, or whatever bull crap he films. He's not putting any truth out there, right? And then he goes, excuse me, on some of these channels, and he'll act like he cares about God, that he's a Christian, and that he cares about truth. And I remember RV Truth, Russian vids. A long time ago, a few years ago, you know, in, in a podcast talking about what a great man, you know, he was and just the best Christian that, you know, he's come across. That was how he introduced, you know, the best Christian I've come across. I mean, I was absolutely gobsmacked that he, you know, that he said that, you know, and on the same podcast, you know, that he interviewed him like that. And Richie from Boston's on the, uh, on the channel talking about he was levitating off his bed that, you know, three or four foot. Uh, that's not a Christian, guys. <laughs> You know, Christians don't levitate off the ground, okay? He was demonically possessed, okay? And like I said, I went through so much proof, so much evidence. Go watch the videos if you guys haven't seen it. I'm not just sitting here spouting my mouth out. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to put this truth out there. Um, like I said, he commented and I felt the need to, you know, obviously, hopefully I can reach people with this. You can use common sense, use discernment. And just see that this guy's a fraud. I mean, just look at the things that he says. Listen to the things that he says. Use discernment. Go watch the videos where I expose him, where I show all the numerology he, that he's using, where I show all the Freemasonic hand gestures that he's using. Where I mean, there's just so much evidence. Like I said, I'm not going to go on and on in this video. You don't get 100,000 uh, views a day 
um, by not being connected and by not selling out. And even the people such as, you know, I know I keep mentioning him, Russian Vids, but that's because he was one of the early truthers that everybody put their stock in and believed in as as a real truther. And whether he was a real, real truther or not, which we all know now that he wasn't, you know, the red flags were always all over there, you know, for the longest time. But he was really good at selling it. But, you know, I still appreciate that he always stuck up for the fact, you know, Jesus Christ, being a Christian, or he always had values, things that he's, he stuck up. And I still appreciate those things. Even when he goes on podcasts, you know, I obviously disagree with them with the shape of the earth. I don't believe it's round, but I also don't believe it's f flat, you know, and that's how you know, you know, he's an agent because he's nonstop pushing that. But he says himself, you know, he, he, he you know, and this is what I was going to say, you know, with RV Truth, you can't deny that. The majority of his work is its truth, and the majority of his work is undeniable, you know. And it's how the world works when he's exposing these Freemasons and he's exposing and showing all these these symbolisms. What people need to understand about signs and symbolism, because some people just think it's it's nothing. You going back to the beginning of time, okay? People didn't know how to read and write, you know, um, by the vast majority of people. Sure, there were certain people that did, yeah, but the majority of people, the way they communicated was through signs and symbols. When people came into town, there was symbols there, signs there for them to communicate with each other, okay? So for these people to think, you know, oh, they don't, com you know, these, 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 these devils, these elitists, they don't, they don't communicate with, you know, gestures and hand signals. Yes, they do. They flat out tell us that they do, and common sense would tell you that, of course, they do, because They've been around since the beginning, and in the beginning, there was no, um, <laughs> there was no, you guys know what I'm saying, so it's just ridiculous. There was no pens and papers and, you know, things to write down. So, again, Richie from Boston, he's a crisis actor, um, been on the news like at least three or four times now that I've, um, put vi his videos up here, so you guys think he's just gonna randomly make it on the news? Do you really think that he's just gonna randomly... Uh, make it on Inside Edition and, be, you know, and be able to punt, um, publish, not publish, uh, promote his new um, show because they said Richie from Boston right on the show and then they said Jailbreak Overlander. Uh, they said Richie Comito. They say his full name and all this. Okay, you don't get that limelight unless you sell out, unless you're part of them. Okay, and again, this is all going back to his comment. Hey, idiot, I posted this from in front of my house where this carjacking happened. What a jerk off. What a ridiculous comment, but I think it's hilarious, and it just shows how people like him think that he just thinks that people are so gullible, they're so, and I guess, you know, common society has been so dumbed down, so fooled, so, you know, hoodwinked, that they don't see the forest for the trees, and a lot of them never can see the forest for the trees, you know, they listen to somebody like Brian Denlinger, or Russian Viz, and, you know, and, and, and surely people are great at talking, you know, they've been gifted to the silver tongue or the gift of gab or whatever, you know, but they're liars. They're snake oil salesmen at the end of the day. They're devils, you know, and somebody like, um, people like Brian Denlinger, you know, they're not even like RV where they're, you know, at least RV, I can say that 80 to 90% of his work is good and true. Brian, in the beginning, yeah, you know, 80, 90% of his work was, was spot on was great. And I really, really appreciated everything, you know, a lot of the things that he stood for. But now he's just all about hate and bigotry and, and, and breaking people apart, you know, and, you know, saying that two people from two different kindreds is, you know, that are married, you know, they're committing the same sin as, as sodomites. And I can just go on and on about the guy. He's totally lying and misrepresenting the Bible. And true believing, uh, excuse me, true Bible believing Christians like myself and you guys out there that are listening, we need to hold these people accountable. And when we hear these things that are, uh, that should be red flags, we need to say, hey, you know, and then when they block you and you sh and you point out scripture and you're like, hey, the Bible says this, this verse, this chapter, here it is, here it is. You know, this is what it says. This is how we're supposed to be doing. This is the standard. And then they just block you. You know, you should have a red flag and know that something's going on there. You know, people don't just block truth unless they're a hater of truth, unless they're on a mission, you know, unless they're part of uh, the devil. So, again, this goes all back to this comment. So... Not gonna go on and on and make this video super super long and talk about you know a bunch of stuff off topic. This was about Richie from Boston. He's a crisis actor, um, and like I said, to me, I never liked him. 
I pegged him from day one. That guy's a, a fraud. That guy, it seems like a, a, something's off with him. There's too many red flags. I, I, for one, I knew he wasn't a Christian. Two, I, there was just something off. Like You're like, he's just playing this role. And then he kind of, the things that he said was not only repundant, a lot of the thing, and but so meatheadish, you know. He's a total meathead, and that's part of why they want to push guys like this, you know, because he's not gonna give you any truth, you know. You go collect his channel. What do you think you're gonna get? You're gonna get videos of him trekking in the woods, him driving his jeep, you know. You're not gonna get any truth. He's not gonna show you any real things. He can't. He's a gatekeeper. He's taken an oath to never tell the things that he knows, to never tell the things that he knows. Just like Russian Viz, just like Jaronism, okay? Go and type in their names and put in exposed, okay? And so watch what pops up. And you'll see right away, oh, wow, the YouTube algorithms, you know, there's no information. And they're not, used to not be like that. Used to be Russian Vids, man, there was all kinds of people, you know, making exposed videos, a call for an uprising, all kinds of people making exposed videos, enter the stars, all kinds of people, um, KJ's What's Happening, um, Shaking My Head Productions, I mean, there's so many, and people don't even get it, they're telling you their names, Shaking My Head Productions, it's a production, it's a Hollywood production, is there some truth there? Yes, you know, um, one of the people that I can't stand, you know, one of the most is that enter the stars guy, he, um, puts out so much false false truth and he's he's there see that's the thing is people need to realize what these rabbit holes you know and all these agents right is they'll put out some truth to draw you in but then they're going to send you down these rabbit holes you know of, of of made up stuff conspiracies stuff with no evidence stuff that like the CIA, like trigger words, like the people are automatically gonna sh are trained to shut you down when you go to talk about um, because they've been conditioned, preconditioned, and trained, you know, through programming to think that way. And these people, like I said, they n they don't have discernment. These people that watch these people, they don't have discernment, and they hear these people that can talk really good. And they say, wow, you know, and these people, all they got to do is mention God or say Jesus once or twice. And then people are hooked. You know, you don't have to have any real fruit. You don't have to have any real um, knowledge. You don't have to live a certain a standard. You don't have to, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really crazy to me, you know, because there's a standard that we are to hold each other by. There's a standard that we're supposed to live by. And that standard is the Bible. The King James Bible, not just any Bible, the King James Bible. And if you are reading anything else, all I can say is I pray for you. You know, I know everybody doesn't read the same Bible. And that's sad because by a lot of the other Bibles have been perverted. And the words have been flat out changed, um, flat out twisted. And I always get people coming in and say that they love the 1590 Geneva version and that the King James had been changed and blah, blah, blah. Save your time if, you want, if you're going to come in here trying to, trying to talk about the King James Bible. Um, again, not that, you're, that I'm a know-it-all, but the King James Bible is the standard that we all are supposed to be living by. It's the true word of God, and it cannot be... Um, What's the word? Everything in it is true, right? There's a standard that we're all supposed to hold each other to by. And as long as we're all doing that and holding each other accountable and, and, and doing our part, you know, then the rest will fall into place. The Lord will take care of us. You know, we're going to go through hard times. You know, there's going to be bad days, you know. That's life. That's everybody. That's not, you know, don't don't think that you're different than anybody else, you know, or just because you look at somebody else and they might have a bunch of money or they might seem to live a perfect life. That's not the truth. That's not reality. In reality, we all struggle. We all, you know, go through the same similar things. And, you know, so don't be uh, jealous or envious of anybody. God made you who you were for a reason. God put you where you were, where you are for a reason. And uh, even if it's, not known to you now why you are in whatever situation that you're in soon enough it will be revealed and like i said there's things like even now this is my life that i don't understand but i know god did it for a reason my brother you know he's 
he died, didn't make it to 30. He was my best friend, you know, and he passed away, you know, not too long ago. I don't understand that, you know, a few years have went by, I still don't understand it. You know, my mom dying before she was 60, you know, um, being the biggest Bible loving Christian, the most purest woman that I've ever met, that I've ever seen that actually loved the Lord to no end and did everything she could to make sure she lived a certain way, uh, to make sure that her kids seen that and to make sure that her kids knew, uh, right from wrong and knew about, uh, the Bible and Jesus Christ and not just, you know, like these fake people that take their kids to church and, you know, drop them off or, you know, the, the people that sin all week and, you know, live the worldly lives and then go to church and pretend like they're Christian. No, my mom literally lived the life that you're supposed to live, that we're called to live. Was she perfect? No, none of us are. And like I said, my mom didn't make it to 55. So I don't understand those things, but I understand that everything happens for a reason. And I understand that the Lord has a purpose and a plan. And even if I don't like it, I don't got to like it, you know, like it or lump it. I understand that everything happens for a reason. I trust it. And, you know, my wife is the same way. My kids are the same way. We all trust and believe in this. And we know that we are taken care of no matter what. We are protected no matter what. And it's a great feeling. And that's why when I see all these fake people, you know, that don't have that and they're out there pretending like they're Christians, I feel for them because I want them to have the same not only peaceful feeling that I have and protection and just, just the comfort in knowing that I'm taken care of no matter what. Like, that's a feeling that I cannot, obviously I could never put a price on it, but I, I can't even explain it. You know, I literally get lumped in my throat just thinking about the goodness of God and how he's blessed my family, how he always comes through, how he always takes care of us no matter what. You know, when I don't see things, you know, always, because, you know, we sometimes we don't, you know, like I said, my brother passed and my mom passing away. I didn't see God's plan, you know, but I realized that one door has to close for another door to open. And like I said, we don't have to like it and we don't even have to understand it at the time, but understand that everything happens for a reason. You know, there's a purpose for everything. As the Bible says, God has a plan for everybody and everything. And so hopefully with that, you know, you guys, I just pray for you guys. And I, I pray that you're staying in the word. You know, and I pray that everybody has the peace and comfort that I have. And that, you know, for the people that are really true Christians and really looking for the truth, um, you know, I, I look forward to your comments. I look forward to interacting with you guys. Um, you guys have been a blessing to me. I know oftentimes I do get discouraged making these videos. Kind of the reason why I didn't make a video for many videos for a while. Plus, I didn't really have the time. But you get discouraged with the YouTube algorithm, you know, nobody gets to see the videos, it doesn't seem like, and, you know, then you get the negative hate, the people, you know, like, that are the cultists, the people that are obsessed with Brian Denlinger, or, you know, because it's important to me, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, why why don't you do uh, Bible verses in, in scripture sessions? Because I don't believe the the uh, the Lord called me to do that. The Lord, I don't believe the Lord called me to be a, a bishop, or a preacher, or a pastor. Um, maybe he did, maybe he will. Um, bring that into my life one day, you know, I, that would be wonderful. But as of now, I don't see, I don't think that that's what God has for me. He's given me the gift of discernment where I can see a lot of the symbology. I can see, see and read a lot of the stuff and I'm able to see those, you know, see these, these false, um, people, these shills, you know, with discernment that the Lord has blessed me with. And I, and I, and I expose them. And that's what a lot of my channel has been. So obviously those type of people build up followings of like cult type people. And obviously they come flock to my channel and they want to stick up for their gurus and their cultists. That's how they've been trained, you know, and then they want to come attack me when they don't know nothing about me. Haven't met me a day in my life, you know, and don't know nothing about me other than my standard is the King James Bible. And I don't understand how anybody could have a fault with that, you know. But anyways, like I said, this guy is a crisis actor and... That's the why the reason why he gets a hundred thousand views a day. You don't just get a hundred thousand views a day. There's a reason why he was gifted a hundred thousand views a day. Just like all these people with their channels, okay. I guess people don't understand how big podcasts are and how the majority of America and the majority of people work in their lives and they want podcasts and they want things to listen to, videos and whatnot. So these podcasts are super, super, super popular, and so. 
of course, the government, the elite, these cabals, these fraternities, the people who run the world, you know, the, the 13 bloodlines, whatever, however you want to name it, the people, you know, the real rulers of the society, you know, there's a, there's a way that, 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 that they, that they rule over us, right? And knowledge is only suppressed through their, their people, you know, it's just like with, you know, they have to get every angle, right? It's just like with politics. They know that everybody's not going to be a Democrat. Everybody's not going to be a Republican. Republican. So they got to have other options in there. So they have, it's, it's the same thing with the truth community, you know, in podcasts. They know that people are going to be out there looking for truth. They can't have people like me who's really out there putting truth out here because I'm not on the payroll. I can't be controlled, you know. They, you know, obviously they would consider me, you know, uh, I would be, uh, I can go rogue or whatever because I'm not under the payroll and I'm just going to put truth out there that they don't want out there. So the only thing to do that is to shadow ban my channel, use all their algorithms to make sure certain people don't see my channel. And I get all the time people coming here, man, your channel's impossible to subscribe to. You know, your channel never comes up on my news feed. I never see your videos or, you know, like I subscribe to your, your, your channel, but then I go back and look and then I'm unsubscribed. And there's just so many things, you know, and people are like, I comment all the time. I got the screenshots. I got this. I got that. And I never see them. Where do they go? Are you deleting my, 